We created a custom object using the App Composer in our Kelsas. It's called Christmas Gifts, and it's basically um, has fields that allow us to track which gift was given from whom to whom. What we want to do now is add a specific server-side script. We're going to create an object function over here to help us validate that the gift is a valid gift. So we're going to give it a name. Then we're going to indicate the return. We're going to either return true or false, whether it's valid or not. And then a very important thing is if you want to invoke it from Visual Builder, you need to mark the method to be callable by external system. Over here, you have the place to write your script. So if in our case, we're going to have an if then else statement, checking a condition and returning false or true based on the condition. And we'll keep it very simple. The condition we want to make sure is that nobody is giving a gift to themselves. So we want to make sure that the to and the from fields are not the same. If they are the same, then this is not a valid uh, gift and therefore will return false. On the right side, you can see the list of fields that are inside your business object and you can select them and right click here to insert them into your script. So in our case, we're going to check that the from a custom field is equal to the to custom field. So again, select this field and then at the top, you have the option to insert it into your expression. Now let's validate our scripts. And yeah, it's a valid script, so we're OK. And we can save and close. So now we have an object function on our business object that we can use. Now, in order to use this inside Visual Builder, we need, of course, access to the custom object. So let's find in our custom object. And we'll do a quick search to find our Christmas gifts object. And we'll copy the URL for the describe so the describe is basically the metadata that describes our REST service. We'll copy this and now we can go over and invoke Visual Builder from Oracle SAS menu. And over here, we're going to go over and um, get into our project and we're going to create a new workspace for our extension. So let's create a workspace here. Um, it's a new application extension. We'll give it a name. We'll indicate that the development environment is mapped to our SaaS instance. And then we also want to make sure that we are using the sandbox in which the custom business object is defined. Okay, so in this case, it's the shy box. All right, we're going to click OK, and this would get us into the visual environment where we can build our new app UI extension. Again, give it a name. You'll have your page over here where we're going to create our user interface. But first, we're going to map our REST service. So we're going to define it by specification, give a name to your REST service, and then um, we're going to use the describe URL we just copied. Okay. And note this is not an open API, but rather an ADF describe. So we'll select that option. For authentication, we're going to use the Oracle Cloud account, uh, basically allowing us to use single sign on across our VB app and the app UI extension and the call to this specific custom business object. When we click Next, we're finding out the metadata about the REST endpoints that are exposed for this REST service. And there are a bunch of things over here. We actually need things from the top level over here. And you will see that our validate method appears here as one of the endpoints we can choose. So let's choose this endpoint. Click Create. And now this is one of the endpoints for our business object. Let's go back to our UI and let's build a quick user interface that would allow us to create a new um, gift entry. So we're going to select the fields, make sure to select the record name because you need to have a value in that one. And then we can also have a table below this um, insert form or create form uh, to have a table that actually lists the existing gifts. OK, 
Okay, so again, select the fields that you're interested in, uh, the gift, the form, and the two. All right, so we already have two gifts in the system. We're going to add a couple more later on. Let's make this area a little bigger. And what we want to do is allow people to have a button in the table to validate whether a specific gift is valid or not. So we'll drag a button into the table, drop it as an extra column here, give it a different title for or label for the, for the button. And then we're going to define an event on the button. When we click it, we're going to execute the validate method. So to do that, we're going to call a rest endpoint. We're going to select the rest endpoint from the endpoints that are now available for our custom business object. You can see this is a post method over here at the end. We need to provide the gift ID. The gift ID, since we're in the table, we have the key for the specific row. We're going to map this one. And then one important thing, the content type needs to be application, um, XMD, Oracle ADF, application plus JSON. All right, based on the results from this call, we're going to either show a valid or an invalid message. So we're going to access the results of the REST call, and we're going to check whether the result is equal to true. Okay, so if it's true, then we know it's a valid gift. Okay, so this is our if statement. We're going to use a fire notification to let us know if it's a valid or not. So in the case it's true, it's a valid gift. So we're going to give a message, valid gift, change the display mode to be transient, and change the notification type to info. Let's take another file notification, put it on the right side. This time we're going to say this is an invalid gift. And again, change the display mode to transient and we're going to show this as an error. So now our invocation of the method is in place and we can actually test it. And let's add another gift to our uh, repository of gifts. So we're switching to live mode and we're inserting some data. This is a gift from Jeff to Jeff, so it's an invalid gift. I'm going to also give a record description here and click save. This adds the data, but it's not going to show it in the table unless we refresh the table. So let's make sure that the save button that we have here also refreshes the table. When it's a successful insert, we're going to pick up a file data provider event, drop it over here, map it to the service data provider that is behind the table and execute a refresh on it. So now if we are back in our user interface, we can see the extra row right now because it was fetched. Let's add another gift. This time it's going to be from Mike to Shai. And um, this is a pen that he's giving us. And we we'll click Save. And now you will see the new record inside the table. All right, so next thing is we're going to make sure that we can select a record in the table. So we're going to turn on the single selection mode for the row selection. And now we can select a row, click validate, and see if it's a valid gift or not. Because this is for Mike to Shai, this is a valid one. The one that goes from Jeff to Jeff, if we click on it, it's an invalid gift. So that's how you invoke a custom method on your business object.